So what we're finding over and over again on, on development uh, of these uh, applications on connected TV is that we need to integrate uh, uh, analytics, uh, quality service, uh, uh, you know, Adobe Pass for um, authentication, entitlement, and things like that. And, and we do that over and over again. And, and so we've been on the bleeding edge of, of getting all these things working on, on all the different platforms. And, and it's been slow to get, say, Adobe Pass working on Samsung and then LG. Uh, but so we, we've been on the bleeding edge of, of getting those those components working. Um, so we're now rolling out uh, in the near future, you know, using Freewheel and Nielsen C3 and 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 things like that for you know, using VMAP for uh, dynamic ad insertion after the the three day window, uh, so that you know the application just automatically goes from a C3 into a dynamic ad insertion and. Uh, and, and so that's, that's the new IAB standard that's just being rolled out with long form con content, uh, DRM protected and authenticated using a major media company. Um, and and we, we're on the side where we just put it all together. Uh, we're, we're the ones that build the application and have to make sure it works on every platform, whether it's you know, PS3 or Samsung or LG or Panasonic. Um, we also have a, uh, a TV Everywhere solution which basically takes all those things we do over and over again now, building in the analytics, building the quality service, building authentication and the advertising, uh, and making that work, we've, we've canned it into a standard application that you can then use as a starting point. You know it works, you know the video works, you know the advertising works, and, and then all you have to do is just rebrand it and point it at your OVP and, and bring in your metadata for your content and it works. And, and it's just a license fee for that application platform. So we'll take something that used to be a six to nine month project and bring it down to one month, uh, and you just deliver it. So there are two two sides of this equation. One is the major media companies that want to go directly to their customers, like a, like an HBO Go, um, and then there's the operators. And so, not necessarily in the United States, but outside the U.S., companies like Telstra and Deutsche Telekom and and uh, Orange uh, and Terra, they they're looking to have a complete over-the-top solution to to deliver you know live linear or video on demand directly to the TV uh, without a truck roll with a set top box you can do it just directly into the TV and actually there was the announcement from uh, you know the Comcast Samsung deal where they've got Xfinity built directly onto the TV now so you don't need that the truck roll um, so you know our customers uh, are looking for solutions to 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 do that but there's this battle between you know Yes, it's an authenticated app and it's HBO, but you know, is the future that they would go directly to the customer or is the future still the carriage agreement with the operator? And that's where we don't know how it's going to come out, but both sides are looking to do sort of overtop solutions, whether it's you know, the, the operator side or the media company side. So I, I think in the near future you'll see um, Virtual operators, so say you know Comcast is an example. Going, uh, they they can sell anywhere now once it's baked onto the TV uh, and over the internet. Uh, and you'll see um, media companies going direct to the customers with their own apps, so like like HBO. Uh, and uh, and you'll see a lot more of that coming out next year. You know, with Fox Discovery, Univision, um, NBC Universal, Disney, etc. Uh, and and that's when I think uh, we'll start to see some some real craziness going on in the market, and and I and I don't know what's going to happen after that. <laughs>